welcome back to my channel video whatever you want to call it if you haven't seen my previous videos my name's molly i'm a makeup artist hello and today we are going to be i'm just basically going to show you my everyday makeup routine i don't really have a makeup routine at the moment but just i'm basically just showing you what i like to wear if i was to pop to the shops or go to work uh you know lockdown stuff um and i basically just don't wear that much eyeshadow i don't wear fake eyelashes um just simple you know i've got all my products here i do regularly like to switch up what foundations powders bronzers highlighters blushes i use because i have a lot and i am actually going to film my makeup collection video later today so you, you you won't see it yet but i'm filming it it'll be coming like a day after this video is up so hopefully you're looking forward to that and let's get straight into the video so i've already moisturized um like this morning just using a vitamin e moisturizer by superdrug um and this like a primer i like to use it's kind of a moisturizer and a primer but i just use it as a primer sometimes because i kind of like how it feels it's just by Glossy Box and it's just their, one of their Glossy Box skincare three in one moisturisers. It pump, plumps, primes, and protects. And I just like using it as primer. And it's like, oh my god, is there any left? Oh my god. <laughs> I just get like that amount. Put it between my fingers and moisturise my face. And prime my face. You always want to put it down on your neck as well just to moisturize your neck and get that ready now that's all in my skin it probably can't really make it like it, it, you won't see a difference yet but it just you know makes my skin nice and hydrated The next product I like to go in with for foundation is by Collection. This is actually discontinued. I don't know if it's discontinued or, but they've remade the packaging. Um, but it's just the Illuminating Touch Foundation. I love this. I always used it when I was younger. By the way, if you can hear a noise, it's the bath. So, sorry. Famalam! And I just... Now, if you think it's the wrong colour, no it's not. It matches my chest, my face is red. Okay, guys, don't judge. Stop judging, I can feel you judging me. Um, I'm just gonna get this brush. This is, it's by BH, BH Cosmetics. Um, yeah, it's just one of, I think it's like Royal Affair collections, I think. And I just buff that into my skin. And this foundation is just so like illuminating. I literally used to wear this for school and that was it. <laughs> Did I? I don't know. I didn't know what powder was back then and I wondered why my fa face always looked oily. And I will admit, I was orange in school. I left school in like 2017 and I look back at photos now and I'm like yes you were orange you should have listened to all your friends but now I'm not lo <laughs> no longer orange I like to buff that down my neck as well just so it blends in a little bit better and yes I kind of look dead but that's because I haven't concealed my under eyes yet but I just like to make sure it's all blended in next I like to go in by uh, with like a concealer from collection it's just their last infection collect uh, last imperfection complexion concealer 
in the shade Extra Fair. And by the way, the shade I used in this one was Cool Ivory One. Yeah, I I I love this. I love it, guys. And I just like to put that anywhere I think needs concealing like on my chin on a couple pimples I have do you call them pimples or spots I also put it around my nose as well because I have a lot of redness around my nose and I just go in with this little brush it's actually from eBay <laughs> my dad got it for me for Christmas my dad doesn't live with me anymore um he didn't really know what to get me he got me like some mascara spoolies as well which i actually do need and he got me just like a brush collection and for ebay brushes guys they are really good they're like actually not that bad like they're really good <laughs> so if you're looking for affordable brushes and you don't want to like basically just well, there are so many good affordable brushes out there guys like ebay amazon i used to have like amazon brush set but now I own mostly BH Cosmetics, Revolution, and Superdrug, and now eBay. Oh, I also have, I also have Beauty Bay, but I don't actually use them. They're for my kit. I got them for Christmas because um, I needed more brushes for my kit because you know, small makeup artist, hardly any money. It's kind of annoying that I asked for like makeup for Christmas for my kit like mainly for my kit and I can't like use any of it at the moment <laughs> so it's just sitting in my drawer and I'm like no I want to use it so now I'm all even blended I like to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me matte and poreless powder the hair in it like lovely and I've got the shade 105 natural ivory I have loads of powders I have Rimmel as well again you'll see it in my makeup collection and just to set my under eyes I use a makeup revolution brush this is old I this was one of my first like good brushes <laughs> and I just like to like lightly put that over my lid again sorry if the lighting's really terrible let me know oh. that's the under eyes all set trust the process guys and then to set the rest of my face I just go in with a big uh, bigger powder brush again by Makeup Revolution I love this brush I'll never get rid of it as you can see I don't know if you can see can you see <laughs> I glued it because it, it broke and I just love it just for chucking on powder it's great and I just pat and then buff So I'm just being a nosy neighbour. And I'll literally buff that into my skin. Again, I'll just do a little close-up. Of how my skin is looking very pale so next I like to go in with the benefit hula bronzer just like the original one I only got this this year I've been wanting it for ages and I only got my hands on it this year I love it I love it guys like look at that I love it and I'm just going to go in with this brush. This is from Studio London, like from Superdrug. I got this brush for Christmas, I think. But I just like to bronze that 
my cheeks wherever I think I need it. I don't tend to contour a lot, but, and I would do it in this video, but I can't bother. I'll show you in another video. And I put it on my forehead as well, just because I have a big forehead and I need to make it look smaller. You're done. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Granddad, for the forehead. I also like to put it on my jaw as well, just to add a bit of definition. Like, look at that. That comparison again. My chair squeaks. Sorry. That was a lot, oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear the music because I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> but I can't not do my makeup and not listen to music. Anyone else? Again, I just like to keep on buffing it out until I'm happy. And then I go quickly over my nose just a little bit because I don't really want to look pale. Even though I am pale. And there we go. And then just because, just for the point of the video, I'll go back in in my bronzer, top off the excess and just go in my crease. Just to add a bit of colour. And this brush is just a blending brush from BH Cosmetics Marble Collection. I love marble. And if you're wondering, I haven't done my eyebrows yet. I know like, most people do their eyebrows first or their eyes first. I like to do my eyebrows when I do my mascara. I don't know why I do that. I, d I, just, I just do because I feel like my foundation and like concealer and powder gets in my eyebrows. And it just ruins them. But yeah. Do I look beautiful yet? No. Maybe. And then I like to go in with another Benefit product. The Benefit Dandelion Blush. This is one of my first Benefit products, I think. Either that or the brow gel, which I'll show. Again, another eBay brush. <laughs> I don't actually mind these, these are alright. And I'm not ashamed to say that I use eBay brushes. And I just like to go on the apples of my cheeks and a bit up in with my bronzer. Just to add a bit of colour because we're looking a bit pale right now. Like look how much better that looks compared to the other side. Like yes ladies and gentlemen, you need blush in your life. And I'm going to probably keep this makeup on like all day because I got stuff to do and I got to go out into the world <laughs> full of Covid. <laughs> Covid's no joke guys. Stay at home, stay safe. Wear, wear a mask guys. Because I have to wear a mask where I work. And it's not fun, so please don't argue with people and, put, and wear a mask. I beg. I beg, guys. Just wear a mask. We'll, we'll be out of it soon. I promise. <laughs> I'm crazy, guys, just so that you know. Then I like to go in with the Too Faced Blinded by the Light Highlighter. I did show this in my first video, so I won't really go into much detail. And I'm just using another Makeup Revolution brush. Yes, it's dirty. Leave me alone. And I just like to put that on the high points of my cheeks. You can't really see. I'm terrible with the lighting. 
It just adds a bit of glow. There we go, that's better, isn't it? This is one of my more subtle highlighters. Because, yeah, I like to do the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, more of my cheekbones, because why not? Then I just do a tad up here, because again, why not? And then do my brow bone. I said that so weirdly then. Again, I will do my brows in a minute. And then just with my finger, I go in the inner corner. I love inner corner highlighter. Anyone else? Just like, look at that. I'm not giving you a finger, look at it, guys. Am I beautiful yet? Yeah. Again, I'm probably looking there and not actually directly at the camera. Hello. <laughs> that was pretty creepy. Oh my god. Okay. My phone just fell. So if it looks a bit different, that's fine. But next, to set all my powders down before I go into like my eyebrows and my mascara, I like to go with the Revolution Glow Fix Illuminate Fixing Spray. Because why not? few sprays blend all the powders in together I let's do this before my mascara and my brows because I feel like it just ruins my mascara and my brows but yeah it's not bad it's not bad I just let that soak into my skin But I'll give you a close-up of my skin. Ignore my brows, I haven't done them yet. And yes, I know. It matches pretty well. <laughs> now it's brow time. I'm just going to brush my brows up with a spoolie from Revolution. Guys, check out Revolution. This is not an ad, but check out Revolution. Their stuff is good. Their brows are good. Their brows are good. Their brushes are good. Their makeup's good. Their hair dyes are good. I haven't tried them, but they're popular. I just like to brush them up. And then, this is a new discovery of mine. The Benefit precisely my brow pencil. Look at that packaging, guys. I like to use the shade three. It's got a little spoolie that side. And it's just got the real your shade of arms. I just like to fill in where I think I need it. We'll just add a few brush strokes. Use my Hola bronzer as a mirror. Just show you what I'm doing. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with, can't really see, but Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade three. This is probably my like 10th one, cause I just, I love it. Like, it's what helped me get into brows. And I just basically, again, I say basically a lot. I'm gonna say that a lot in this video, aren't I? Yeah. Just put it through my brow.
how we look in. Just going to tidy that end up. With a cotton tip. Oh my god, I'm all over the place, guys. Don't judge. Okay, the next product I like to go in with is a nude Alana pencil, pencil from Barry M. As you can see, I've used it a lot and I just like to go in my waterline just to make my eyes look a bit more open and you'll see I'll show you the difference in one second I am going to do this off camera though because I can't like I have to look really closely in a mirror but yeah but yeah this one is with the eyeliner in this one isn't and you can just see it just kind of brightens my eye and it looks so good with mascara on just on the top you just it just it looks good guys it looks good do it do eyeliner Nude eyeliner in your waterline is amazing. It is it's so good. Here we go. Here's them in. And then last but well, second to last product um, is mascara. And I like to use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang mascara. This is one of my favourite mascaras. This and the Their Real Mascara. I love it. It's expensive, but I love it. And just some eyelash colours. I think these are just super drug. And I don't know. I'm again doing this off camera because I can't, I, you won't be able to see so it's no point me trying to film it. And then I will come back and do my mascara. Now I've just done one eye so you can see the difference. I don't have very natural long lashes but you can kind of see. This is why I like wearing lashes but <laughs> it's, it's too much effort. It really is. I'm just going to do the other eye. Can you see? And yes, I put a weird face. So there we go, my mascara's done. And last but not least, if I'm going out um, and I'm not wearing a mask or if I just want to take pictures and stuff, I just put on a nice nude lipstick. This one's Revolution uh, Rose God Lipstick in Chauffeur. Chauffeur? And I just put that on my lips. I don't lip line, lie on my lips most of the time. Oh, yeah so this is the final look glowy everyday simple not very out there makeup and it's just what I like doing sometimes if I'm going to work or I'm just going to the shops or I'm going to get takeaway you know lockdown stuff that we can't really do much but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um and i will see you in my next video again if you have any video suggestions leave them in the comments down below and i will happily get back to you or i will do those videos and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you in my next video bye guys